Welcome to a new year and a new year of Dean's List Reviews. And our rated girlfriend empowerment comedy is up first this week. Walk into the room. Mel Page and Mia Carter. I'm Clara Luna. I am going to invest $1.7 million on you. We would love a million dollars. But in my experience, business and friendship don't always mix. The first two new movies of 2020 are both pretty good. The first is a very R-rated comedy, Like a Boss, starring Tiffany Haddish and Rose Byrne as a pair of lifelong friends whose popular boutique cosmetic shop becomes the target of a big money buyout by a notorious flamboyant legend in the cosmetics industry, played by a fiery red-headed Selma Hayek. Friendship and loyalty get tested when big bucks become involved, which is the heart of this movie, in addition to both reinforcing and breaking stereotypes about how women treat women. And while there's a definite hallmark quality to Like a Boss, it's also a movie that holds nothing back with its very R-rated laughs. Billy Porter and Jennifer Coolidge are great in supporting roles. I would have liked to have seen a little more of them in this. It's a warm, funny, and often naughty Dean's List B. Why am I a lawyer? No, no, why is you a lawyer down here in Alabama taking these cases that ain't nobody gonna pay you for? I know what it's like to be in the shadows. Also new this week is Michael B. Jordan and Jamie Foxx in Just Mercy, the true story of a Harvard Law School graduate who takes a pass on joining a big legal firm and instead heads to rural Alabama to defend the wrongfully accused. In his first case, he represents an African-American man framed for the murder of a white woman by a judge, jury, the local police, and prosecutor who are now turning a blind eye to possible new witnesses and evidence. This is not the first movie to cover justice for those falsely accused. There's a lot of humanity and reality here that not only shines a light on this real case, but also on how justice for all isn't always the case. It's another Dean's List B. And the movie that won Best Picture Drama and Best Director at the Golden Globes last weekend officially opens in many more than just a few select theaters. To me, 1917 is the best movie of 2019, a powerful World War I drama shot in a way that appears as though it's one continuous shot. Very effective and very moving, it's a Dean's List Day.